hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel AG Motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this perfect logo reveal animation inside of after effects that is also with the help of photoshop and if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any much more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe Photoshop. Now I have this FedFX logo. You can choose any logo you want, but right now I'm going to choose this one. The main reason is that this logo is a combination of two colors and that is going to be very useful for our animation. So first thing first, we need each and every alphabet on different different layers. So first of all, I'll select this F first. So I'm going to choose pen tool for this tutorial. For the selection, I'm going to select this much portion first and then simply select this much portion like that then hit ctrl enter then hit ctrl x to cut it out create a new layer and press ctrl shift v to paste in place double click and simply call it as f and let's hide this now same procedure i'm going to follow for this e as well i'll select this much portion with the help of paint tool only like that make sure that you are selecting it properly if you want to be very very precise with the selection you can but right now just for the sake of tutorial i'm going to select something like that so hit ctrl x new layer Converse ctrl shift v double click and let's call it as e okay same after that i'm going to select this d press m which is a shortcut key for the rectangle selection i'm going to select this much portion like that over here hit ctrl x new layer ctrl shift v and hide this then i'm going to select this rectangle selection tool i'm going to select this much portion hit ctrl x new layer ctrl shift v double click let's call it as e double click let's call it as x select this double click and let's call it as d okay so now i have each and every alphabet on different different layers i'm going to delete this white color background and now what we need to do is that i'm going to select my magic eraser tool let's hide all of them and simply select your magic eraser tool if you see in eraser options the third one is magic eraser tool and with the help of that uh, simply select that layer and click on this portion same procedure i'm going to follow for all of these layers simply click those areas where those white colors exist okay same procedure over here as well over here as well okay so now our logo is ready to get animated in after effects now all you need to do simply go to the after effects create a new composition we are going to call it as main animation width i'm going to choose 1920 and height 180 frame rate 30 and duration is 10 i mean 30 second long and background color is white and simply hit ok then we'll go to choose grade and guide option and simply say hit on title selection now press ctrl i and i'm going to bring this logo and import as i'm going to choose composition return layer sizes and simply hit import and hit ok and simply double click to open this select all of them hit ctrl c to copy go over here and hit ctrl v right click new create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null then select this null press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this and let's try to adjust the position properly over here okay so this position looks good to me then i'm going to select this and simply hit delete now select all of them and press p for position create one keyframe or oh, but before that by holding shift i'm going to select those positions i'm going to right click and i'll choose separate dimensions i'll create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y then along with that i'm going to press r for rotation create one keyframe each on rotation along with that press s and create another keyframe and hit u now okay then i'm gonna go somewhere around let's say uh, one second maybe i'll create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y similarly on scaling as well as rotation properties i'll go somewhere around over here again i'm going to create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y only then in middle of that i'm going to select all of them and i'll change the y position somewhere around over here then i'll go to the start 
I'm going to choose align tab. I'm going to choose align horizontally and then align it vertically. And let's try to bring this at the center. Then in middle of that, I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to bring them Y position somewhere around like this. And initially at the start, the scaling should be somewhere around like 10. Okay. Then at this point, the rotation uh, should be for this E and X. I'm going to choose a rotation 1 in positive value. Okay. Like that. So if you see, you will get something like that. Then I'm going to select this, this and this by holding shift. And I'm going to choose minus 1 value over there. Okay. So we will get something like that. Now press P for position. So we can see position keyframes only. Let's select those Y positions. So for that simply select all of them and in search only type Y. So it will show us only Y position first. Then select those Y position keyframes and we will hit uh, F9. Then we will go to the graph editor. We will select this graph by holding shift. I'll move one handle over here and I'll move one handle over here. Select this, move one handle over here. Select this and move one handle over here. Go over here, zoom in. Select this by holding shift, move one handle over here and one handle over here. Move one handle over here and move one handle over here. Okay. So now if you see this now, we'll get something like that. Okay. If you hit play, we'll get something like this. Now, obviously uh, the animation should be one by one. So I'm going to take a distance of five, five frames and I'm going to adjust them somewhere around like this. Okay. So if you see this now, we'll get something like this. Okay. Now select all of them, press Ctrl Shift C and let's call it as logo reveal. Okay, so this is going to be my logo reveal. Now along with that, I need a certain amount of animation over here. So for that, I'm going to select my ellipse tool, let's say, and I'm going to delete this stroke. Then uh, simply by holding Shift, select create one ellipse. Select this, press Ctrl Alt Home, go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s initially let's make this value zero okay and let's create one keyframe i'm gonna go somewhere around 1.10 and let's increase this value somewhere around like this now go to the start and let's uh, bring this downwards uh, and select this fill over here and with the help of this picker pick up the color of this fedfax logo like that okay over here then select this, uh, hit uh, F9 to this keyframes, go to the graph editor, select this by holding shift, move one handle over here, uh, go to the start, select this and move one handle over here. So we will get this kind of blowing effect. Then select this, hit Ctrl D, uh, zoom in uh, or you can move this to five frames as well like that and uh, you, now we need to select this and with the help of this picker i'm going to pick up this color then again i'll select this and i'll hit ctrl d i'll move this over here and i'm going to change the white color so we will get this kind of stuff okay so this is going to be my uh you know cracker animation or you can call it as blow so select all of this shape layer press ctrl shift c and we are going to call it as blow Okay, and now we will hide all of these layers. Now let's come to our main portion. So for that, I'm going to select my ellipse first. And for the color, you can choose with the help of this logo over here. I'm going to pick up, uh, let's say for now, I'm going to pick up this color. Okay, and now by holding shift, I'm going to create one keyframe. Uh, I'm not keyframe, but I'm going to select this and create this ellipse. And I'll press Control Alt Home. Then I'll go to the start and go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Now press P for position, create one keyframe at start. I'm going to go somewhere around one second and I'll create one keyframe. Go over here and let's move this from here to here. After that, right click new and create one null object. Select this and make it apparent with this null. Now select this null. 
press R for rotation, create one keyframe, go over here and let's make this value 2. So now if you see, we will get this kind of uh, rotation properties. Let's select those keyframe and we will hit F9. Go to the graph editor, select this by holding shift, move this handle over here and move this handle over here. Okay, so we are getting this kind of stuff which is very fast. So let's simply bring this value up to around 4 seconds. Okay, so we will get something like this. Okay, now let's select these two layers, press Ctrl Shift C and we will call it as circle. Okay, so if you see this now, we are getting this kind of animation. Now I'm going to go in effect and presets panel and I'll search for eco effect and double click to apply. And I'm going to increase the number of echoes to 30 eco operator maximum. So if you see this now, we are getting this kind of stuff. Now in eco time, instead of 0.033, I'm simply going to remove this first three and I'll type zero over there. Okay. So if I see this now, I'm going to get that a little bit smoother. And if you want, you can make this copies to 150 as well. So what will happen that the tail of this animation, uh, let's make this quarter resolution, will get a little bit bigger. So currently, just for our preview, I'm going to choose somewhere around 60 only. Okay. So first I'll get this animation. Then uh, I'm going to select this and I'll hit Ctrl D to duplicate. I'll right click new and I'm going to select one null object. Select this circle and make it apparent with this null. Then select this null, press S, unlink this and let's make this minus 100. Okay, like that. So now if you hit play, we will get this animation in different direction. Now select this circle and uh, we will go to the effect and presets panel and search for fill effect and double click to apply. And from the logo, uh, I'm going to pick up this color over here. Okay, and let's hide this. Now select this circle and this null object. Zoom in a little bit. I'm going to move it to somewhere around, let's say, 10 seconds. And I'm going to bring this over here. Okay, like that. So we'll get something like this. And then we will get this extra portion over here like that now let's go inside this circle go to the star select this create one keyframe over here hit u go over here and let's make this value to somewhere around 10 so the size is gonna be gonna get decreased like this okay over here and if you want you can make this totally zero as well okay so we will get something like this okay so this animation is also done so select this circle this and this null object press ctrl shift c and let's call it as extra okay and let's hide this now after that i'm going to select this ellipse let's select this and let's create this kind of structure select this and press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this now after that if you want go over here go to the path uh, select this path right click and choose convert to bezier path go to the path and create one keyframe then select those selections select this uppermost selection and simply delete it okay so we'll get something like this then select this portion select this uh, portion and shift hold and simply bring this handle over here like that then shift hold and bring this handle over here like this okay you can shift hold and or simply adjust this like this okay this is one way another way is you can simply do is that instead of uh, creating any path or structure or anything like that simply select this let's delete this path structure we don't need that i am going to select and create one rectangle i'll create this kind of rectangle as a mask hit enter and let's call it as mask and we will choose alpha mask okay or you can choose alpha inverted mask and select this mask and make it apparent with this shape layer okay now let's select this shape layer 
press Y for pen behind tool and by holding control I am going to bring this downwards okay and now we need to create animation over here so let's select this press P for position create one keyframe then I'll go somewhere around let's say 1.10 create another keyframe then go to the start and let's bring this over here like that select those keyframe and hit F9 so we will get something like this okay then go to the graph editor select this by holding shift move this handle over here okay then select this two and hit ctrl d to duplicate it and this time i'm going to select this layer and hit u and let's delete those keyframe and press ctrl alt home to align their anchor point to the center let's uh, bring this downwards okay enable this logo reveal and over here with the help of picker I'm going to pick up this purple color okay then select this and this and let's move this over here select this create one keyframe at position go few frame forward let's bring this over here go few frame forward select this ctrl c ctrl v then select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph shift hold bring this over here this over here this over here and this over here okay so if you see first we'll get this and then we'll get this now after that if you see you'll get something like that and along with that this should be a little bit faster so by holding alt i'm going to move this up to this only like that then along with that i'll press r for rotation create one keyframe hit u go over here and let's make this one complete rotation select this rotation and hit f9 go to the graph select this graph shift hold bring this head just like that okay so we will get something like that and when this is gonna come over here we need to now adjust it now let's select these portions and press ctrl shift c and we'll call it as pot animation okay so now our entire animation is almost ready and now just we need to add them line wise so along with this pot animation i want this extra animation to be run like that just for the reference okay then whenever this point is gonna come uh, over here somewhere around at this point then only this pot animation uh, should start falling on it like that okay so if you see this now first we will get this and then this then at this point when this is gonna come over here i want this blow animation should start to get animated so i'll select this blow animation and it should start to get animated at this point okay and then at this point only i'll build, bring this logo reveal at the top enable it and i'll bring this over here so it will try to animate at this point so now if i say this first i'll get this and then i'll get this okay and at this point i'm going to press n so now if i see this animation i'm gonna get this and then i'll get this okay so this is how you can create this kind of logo reveal animation inside of after effects with the help of photoshop